Corey, how are you going to celebrate the Chinese New Year? Uh, I, that threw me off. I have no <laughs> clue. That's a thing. I'm celebrating it by going to Panda Express. Thank you, everyone. Rice or noodles? Rice. I think I'm gonna go noodles, even though I know I'm gonna get berated. Well, did, you, did Noodles University? How dare I make a mistake? Did Noodles University ever win the College Baseball World Series? I don't think so. Rice did. So we got eight treasure chicken breast bowls. Wait, is, no we didn't. We got two eight treasure chicken breast bowls. Wow, that's a tough one, isn't it? Also, I don't think I was gonna wake up today and say that word, no. sentence, so, phrase. I try to say, but words are hard. 16 treasures total? 16 total treasures in this bag for about $14. 16 treasure, $14, acquired. Intruders beware. Jump cut. Our current exhibition is called Chow, making the Chinese American restaurant. And it celebrates the contributions of Chinese immigrants to American food culture. A little bit of a, a washed out day, guys. It's like blue skies and actually like 30 today. I know lately you've seen us yeah, and 30 complaining so about the weather. It feels amazing. Um, Can you hold that, please? Not that. Damn it! You're an idiot! I'm really sorry. Let me try again. If you mess this up, son, you leave again. There we go. How'd yeah. I do, Dad? Dad, Dad, am I good now? God, Dad, it's There's like so much like, straight jacket. Deep themes in the show that <laughs> most of them are daddy issues. They all <laughs> well, boil down to that's daddy what I was issues. Basically getting at. <laughs> um, which is really funny because because we both love our dads. <laughs> yeah, we're also like not. To, you get it. What I normally do is I have like the second angle, which will show Corey. <laughs> Thank you. Show Corey doing his thing. Can I just before I even get to the food? Yeah. We talk about. I don't. Can you, this might not even pick up on the camera, but this little panda on the lid. Oh, I got it. That's I got it right. Cool, on. man. Yeah. I kind of dig that. Also, it literally says literally literally gourmet Chinese on it. <laughs> So what do we got in here? I wanted to do a little digging, so I had to get my silverware. Yeah. So we got some chicken, looks like some red peppers, green peppers. This must be some sort of little chili pepper. It is, Which yeah. I dig. Mm -hmm. uh, is this another kind of meat? There's sausage in there. Oh, sweet. That's one of the treasures. I wonder if there's eight ingredients, and those are the different treasures. Here's to celebrating traditions, both old and new, with Panda Express, where good fortune smiles. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. And then your treasure carb is rice. And then my treasure is rice, yeah. And then you're you got the treasure card with the chow mein. Yeah, and which is nice because it they does let just you look like you spelled mine wrong. That's how you think dyslexic people see, see it as mine. Yeah, like chow mein. Chow mein. Yep. First time dyslexia worked in their favor. Caught right. Caught right. <laughs> Caught right. Caught right. Oh my God, that's unusable. Caught right. That's literally a perfect impression of the Chinese food host. We're not doing that anymore. It's 2018. Caught right. You're not caught Every, right. I know I'm not caught right. Who's caught right? I'm caught right. <laughs> You're not caught right. Of course I'm not caught right. Caught right? Caught right? Eight treasure chicken celebrating the new year in China. Culture. Cheers. Ooh. Oh, wow. This is celery, not green peppers here. I, I oh. miss that. There's green pepper and celery. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Okay. I'm not a big uh, fan of celery and food normally. Like, I don't mind celery, but it's basically water that's mm -hmm. green mm -hmm. and solid. In solid form. We talked about this. Yeah. Water is still water as ice. Did you ever see, my buddy John told me about this, there's like crazy arguing online, like an special. Is, what, what? is water wet? wet. Mm -hmm. It's not. The question itself, chemically speaking, doesn't make a lot of sense. I love watching people argue it's about so it. It's so funny. If you're underwater, you're, you're not wet. If you're above water, yeah, because you can see the liquid coming off you. If you're at a bar and you want to really shake shit up, got a bunch of friends together, watch people start arguing about whether or not water is wet. Oh, it's so great. Oh, it is hilarious. The argument being, it's not, well, one of the arguments I heard because you can't get it dry, right? Right. And also, like, water can make things wet, but water itself isn't wet. Right. It has the wet capabilities. Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. Alexa, is water wet? 
Water is wet because of strong tetrahedral hydrogen bonding, which means that a much less controversial thing to argue about than flat Earth. Man, back in season <laughs> one or two of the show, that was fun. Oh yeah, we yeah, forgot we got called flat earthers out there. You've really mellowed out in the comment section. Yeah, because it takes up too much of my time to argue, so I just like. And you're arguing with people that you'll never. Well, sometimes you actually did turn people, which was shocking to me. Right. Because I always thought people were either born stupid. You know, it's not a choice. You can't. You don't choose to be stupid. You're either born stupid or you're not stupid. Mm. Mm -hmm. Well, 50%, they say. Right. The other 50% is learned. This is, this is pretty good. I would only get this because of the show. Yeah. It's not bad. It's just another one of those things that is good right now because of this moment. Right. Sean I mean, and Corey drinking and going to Panda Express on a Friday night. No camera. Not going to happen. Not getting some treasure chest in my chicken. I do like the, the juices of it are really soaking into the rice and it's like actually pretty good flavoring. The sauce is really good. Mm -hmm. Some of the vegetables you pointed out earlier, that celery, there was something in there that I was eating. It's tough because I was getting a lot of vegetables on there that I was like not digging it. I don't know if it was the flavor of the chili because uh, the chili peppers because they're not hot really. No, they're not. They're kind of just like when you saute vegetables, you got to be careful when you're, you can't do them too early. Cooking out the heat. Because then, yeah, then they're like, those are kind of lukewarm, but then the chicken's hot. It, you know, mm -hmm. it's a whole thing. Oh, you know what we should do a shout out to? Cool. Our Patreon winner. <laughs> Chris McKay. Don't show his address. <laughs> I wanted to redo it. Chris McKay, he uh, he won a Patreon gift card. He chose McDonald's. And McDonald's doesn't do online ones. We had to go purchase this. That was so weird. And mail it to him. Yeah, it's a little odd, but for him, it's so worth it, dude. He That's like super cool that these people are donating to us. I just want to do a little shout out that he uh, won and is about to get his McDonald's. You got a gross part? What the f yeah, I bit into a couple of those that's just like not good. I wonder what it was. Do you think it was like the pepper? Dude, the pepper thing can't It's like, no, it was like me. plastic. Mm, really? Sorry, I just it's yacked it. It's dangerous. Out. Dude, it like wasn't edible. I kept chewing and being like, let's give it the benefit of the doubt. I'm crunching. Dude, I think I'm just gonna finish the chicken. Yeah. Here's the thing. I get that you want some crunch with it, but you don't need so much crunch. There's too many things in here. The the balance, the ratio mm -hmm. is off, in my personal opinion. Yeah, I totally agree. It's not bad, but it's no. not great. No, I don't know. I do like the sausage, though. That's the best touch i found. I agree. Come on. Let's see that smile. No, thanks. I also think you kind of got screwed because we had the last two scoops. Oh, man. And so I think you got one that was like aggressively vegetables. That is such an unfortunate thing. Mm -hmm. But since I have a food review show, I can take it out on them in the score. <laughs> yep. Which I'll be doing right now. Out of five random pieces of plastic, how many random pieces of plastic do you give the eight treasure chicken breast from Panda Express. Well, relative to other Panda Express food options, right. this is below average. Right. That's what I'm basing it off of because it's difficult to relate it to other fast food items. Me too. It's not horrible, but it's a little below average. There's way better things out there. Yep. I'm going to go with a 2.4. Not aggressively bad, but certainly ain't great. I'm going to give that a 1.1. .1. All right. And I'm, anytime you chew into plastic, that's for in the foreseeable future. I'm giving... <laughs> listen, man. The gloves are off, okay? The gloves are off, man. I love Chinese food, especially Americanized Chinese food, because that's all I know because I'm from America and I haven't visited China yet. How, how often do you see me stop eating something that salty? That's a very good question. 1.1. About to find out what we got for a living. Are you just gonna crush it up and throw it on the bottom of the car when you're done? I'm really sorry about that. Um, <laughs> that yes. made me laugh a lot. <laughs> what the hell's up with this deformed little nugget? I never eat it. You see this? Show them. It's like one, it looks like people got that, uh, what is that all about? It's like when people got their second toe is bigger than their other toe. It's That's weird. Huh. I'm not good at this. Be willing to admit your mistakes. Never! Your, <laughs> your kind nature will earn you respect amongst your peers. Straight out of your 2018, uh, what do you call that thing where you pick a... New Year's resolution. New Year's resolution. But unfortunately, I didn't tell you this. That's only until February 17th, because then mm. I take on my Chinese New Year resolution, uh, which is to literally be a d about everything. Yeah. That, uh... Well, at least we got a little bit more time left. After he yells this phrase, we're gonna open up a package from you guys because you're the best. Eat it, bitch. It's always good. We got the good. Nope. We got a, a letter. Oh, look at that. That's kind of a neat thing. You look at you open that from a geek. Oh, sweet. Geek Alabama. We got a little Christmas card here. From Mary, Mary, from Nathan Young from Geek Alabama. Did he make that on the computer by himself? His little Acer. He's seeing traffic light, bro. Dude, somebody sweet. send it, send us a traffic light. Yeah, dog. My girlfriend would be super stoked about that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, babe, brought home a traffic light. 2017 has been an interesting year. For starters, I went to my first foreign country ever. Going to Canada and Toronto was interesting and fun. I saw a lot of cool sights, took plenty of great pictures and videos, and got a break from the extreme heat and humidity 
Alabama is known for all summer long. This is this is an awesome long letter. We're gonna read this because this is more like for Personal. us, and not, yeah. I, I don't think this is like meant for the YouTube community. Yeah, it's more. Yeah. So we love this, and we're like, dude, super stoked about getting this. And Nathan, yeah, Nathan you're Nathan, awesome. Thanks, and we just want to say thanks for the little Christmas letter. Thank you so much. Also, to nothing but good things in 2018. Until Especially, until February 17th, and then I hope everybody can die. That's it. You sometimes you make me think you're from the UP. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's a different world up there, man. Holy crap, Anoli. It's like Christmas all over again. Fragile. Oh, it's from Jamie Two's. Oh, look what? At, look at this cool water pipe. Is that a vase? Dude, dude. Oh, sick. Dude, finally a glass dildo. That's not how it works. Look at this awesome uh, flower cigar holder. I'm look how cool this cigar holder is. Hello. Uh, Hello. Oh. Mm. Oh, it's you a can learn how to play hot cross buns. Do it. Yo, check out our Spotify page. All right, and we got beers. Dude, Kolsch, Mother Road Brewing Company. Kolsch, Mother Road Brewing Company. This is too sick. I was so sick. <laughs> um, might be a looking glass. You ever heard of it? It's a cigar holder or a kazoo. Sweet. Mother Road Brewing again, Tower Station IPA. And we were running low on brews. When I drink liquid, gotta have booze in it. Oh, little cute little a cigarette holder. Yes, open this. Look at this cool little cigarette holder we got. Hello. Shall I have a smoke? Kolsch, so like we each get a call. Mother Road Brewing Company, Tower Station. Dude, this is sick branding too. It really is. Look uh -huh. at this note from Jamie. Oh! <laughs> That's absolutely crazy that you put me in a box and these guys opened it. Today on Triple D. Give them a jump cut. Jump cut! <laughs> Dude. Hey Corey, I'm your new host. <laughs> hey, this video, absolutely bomb, dude. Bro, I uh, just got to fist bump my hero! Now fist bump my anus. <laughs>